Hey, what's going on everyone? It's me, Juan Carlito Mendoza, and today we're going to learn the Mambo. Now, before I actually get to the lesson, I want to thank everyone who tuned into my live lesson on Dromeo last week. Now, um, if you didn't catch it, it's totally okay. They're going to be editing it, and they're also going to rebroadcast it a little further down the line. So if anybody has any questions about my Dromeo experience, what I want you to do is leave your questions in the comments below. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a separate video answering those questions. All right, so enough of that. If you're ready to get to work, grab your sticks, grab your pad, grab your drum set, grab whatever you have, and let's get to work. All right, so before I actually demonstrate the drum set applications, I wanna show you what this sounds like with the authentic instrumentation. That's pretty cool, right? So now what's gonna happen is we're gonna use some of those elements and apply it to the drum set. So now let's look at example one. Now, example one is for the soft sections or for the verses, etc. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the cascara pattern, um, which is going to be on the hi-hat. And by the way, cascara means shell in Spanish, but we're gonna play on the hi-hat. This pattern is gonna sound like this. One, two, ready, and go, and one. Now I notice I counted it in two because this is written in cut time, okay? So that's why I counted it in two. Now, the left hand is going to be playing the two, three son clave, which is rest, one. The bass drum is gonna be playing on the uh, so one, uh, all right, now let's put all those parts together. We're gonna to listen to this at 60 BPMs and 100 BPMs. Alright, so that's what you would normally play in the soft section. Now in the loud sections, we start presenting the two bells. We're going to present the bongo bell and the timbale bell. Okay? Now, before I get to the actual application, let's hear it with its authentic instrumentation.
So I hope you heard the difference in timbre and also in volume in the loud section. Now let's break this down. So let's look at the next example. In the next example, we're going to actually play the bongo bell pattern. Now one thing I want you to be aware of is where you strike, okay? You're going to have a low pitch which is going to be played on the mouth of the cowbell and you're going to have the higher pitch which is going to be on the middle of the cowbell. Alright, so the bongo bell pattern sounds like this, one, two, ready, and Okay, now we're just going to add the 2 3 son clave on top of that and the bass drum pattern that we played. Let's hear how this sounds. Now we're going to start incorporating the timbale bell. The timbale bell pattern sounds like this. One, two, ready, and ta ta ti ta 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 ti ta 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 ti 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 ta ta. And this is going to be a higher pitch bell, and it's also going to resonate a lot more. So in order for it to sound authentic, try to get a timbale bell. All right, let's hear how this sounds. All right, so now we're going to incorporate the cross stick and the high tom and the floor tom. Now, the cross stick is supposed to emulate the slap that we hear on the conga. The high tom and the floor tom are supposed to emulate the congas, all right? And the pattern will sound like this. One, two, ready, and. Goom goom. All right, everything else will stay the same. Let's hear how this sounds.
In example five, we're gonna play the bongo bell with the timbale bell. Now this is not easy to do. However, with a little bit of work and making sure that you take this slowly, I guarantee you, you'll be able to get this. Let's hear how this sounds. Alright, so now what we're going to do is we're going to combine the soft section with the loud section. Let's hear what this sounds like. Alright, so if you notice, I haven't even incorporated my left foot yet. Now, I'm going to show you different variations. I'm not going to break all these down, but they can go from quarter notes on the hi-hat to left foot clave, etc, etc. Alright, so check out these examples, and I hope you enjoy this.
All right, so I hope you dug that video lesson. For more lesson materials, you can check out CarlitoMendoza.com. And if you dig what you see in this channel, don't forget to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you next time.